So today I thought I would do something a bit different and just talk about my vlogging setup. And this is not to show you, you know, what gear I have, although I will show you what gear I have. It's more so that when I look back on this and when you guys look back on this in, a, in months, years or whatever down the line, I can see how things have changed and, you know, maybe see if I was doing things better or worse, etc. Anyway, this is, this is the sort of gear I have. So firstly, obviously, there's this camera here, which is the Sony D... I think it's the Sony DSCWX500. The, the product names of these things are ridiculous. Anyway, which I'm obviously using with this tripod here. There's a lamb, I think it's a lamb cow flexible, unbreakable tripod, <laughs> something like that. Anyway, I also use this tripod here, which is like a, it's an Amazon Basics. What I like about this is that it's really super lightweight. You know, these things all expand. It's got a spirit level here, so you can tell that you're always... Even this comes out as well, by the way, which I didn't realise for about a month. This here is one of the... F pretty much the only uh, lighting that I actually have for my videos. It's a giant softbox thing with uh, just a little Velcro section and then the bulb with the foil. Basically, the idea with that is that it's meant to be soft, sort of daylight feeling. So when this thing is on, when this thing's on, it feels like even if it's cloudy and dark outside, this makes it feel like it's sunshine or at least a, a fairly bright day. So then the other setup I have is I have, I've always thought that, you know, if you want to capture something, whether it's on video or on camera, the best thing to do is just to have something that's easy to grab and just take away and get the shot. I've never liked big cameras, DSLR, you know, the, the huge ones. I've never liked those and every time I've seen someone with them I've always thought it's just too bulky and too, it's just too sort of clunky to be getting the right shots. I don't want to be carrying that thing around with me, whereas this, I can just literally just grab this and just take it wherever I want to go. I can bring it down here and transition into my battery setup, which is here. So I've got all of these things. You probably shouldn't be running this many USB ports off of essentially one extension lead which comes from one plug over there. I'm doing it anyway because I don't really care. So we've got the battery charger here for the DJI Spark. I always like to have three battery ports just because I don't think one battery is enough. So then there's this which is for, these are the spare batteries for the Sony which go in here. Obviously there's also the one I'm using in, in the camera now. And then we've got a load of micro USB cables just coming out of here because I've got something, you know, I've got like the headset for the drone that charges with these. I've got, I've got this cheap little action camera which also charges there. Power packs, phone, loads of stuff uses micro USB. So I just, I just like to have things all laid out here so that I can just instantly charge things, have all my batteries charging here, and I know that I can just grab the camera battery or, you know, grab whatever and just go. So that's pretty much my setup for vlogging. In terms of how I actually structure the videos, I'm still very much working on that because I've never been a videographer. I've never really made videos before starting YouTube. I've never studied this stuff. I don't really know what I'm doing. So I'm just trying to sort of experiment and see what works, you know. Like for example, I always use this window here because it gives a lot of daylight, so I don't actually... And then for backdrops, I, I don't really pay attention to what's behind me in the videos. Although sometimes if I'm filming something where I just only want you to pay attention to like exactly what I'm saying, especially for my lucid dreaming videos, I'll use this backdrop. Which is essentially just a giant mandala flag with some ivy and some plants and everything just to make sure that it's a soft background but you're not going to focus on that you're going to more focus on what I'm actually saying but I think my favourite thing has got to be this camera, the Sony and the tripod just because I can take it anywhere and just use it instantly this hasn't really been a very interesting vlog simply because I wasn't really leaving the house today so I thought I'd just show you guys my setup show you how I make my videos and that sort of stuff and obviously the setup will change over time like for example, I've got another camera that's going to arrive. I've got some more tripods and stuff, and uh, and when that happens, obviously I'll show you guys that. But yeah, that is my YouTube vlogging setup. By the way, guys, I would actually say that this is a fairly cheap setup. I know, you know, obviously cameras do cost money, um, but the total price of that entire setup, so like this camera, the tripod, the soft light, you know, the SD cards and everything you need, not including the drone, of course, is about 300 pounds which is you know it's obviously it is money but you can save that up fairly quickly and if you can't save that up 
you know, you could do this setup with just, for example, the tripod on your phone. You don't need any expensive equipment to start this stuff, you know, to start on YouTube, to start vlogging. I would argue this is actually a fairly good setup, especially for how cheap it is. But, you know, if you can't get this set up, you could also just use any, pretty much any phone now. You know, if you have an iPhone 5 and above, you can just film pretty much the same quality as you're seeing now on your phone. And the microphone's pretty good as well. So as long as you have a good tripod, which, you know, I'd recommend this one. This is the Lancao, Lamal flexible thing. I can't remember the name of this stuff, but I'll put a link in the description. Anyway, with that tripod, you know, it comes with a phone attachment. You're pretty much ready to go. All you need to do is download iMovie and it's free by the way and just start making movies all right so i'm gonna go to the gym now have a workout come back have some food and then that's today done